What's going on guys, E here, welcome to some more Star Wars Command, and I'm back with another Star Wars video, and today we're actually going to be talking about some Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and it's open world. But before you jump into it, make sure to go down below, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a future Star Wars video. Let's jump straight into this, today I'm going to be talking about the open world for the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga and what I think it might be like so I'm just going to be doing a little bit of speculation so let's jump straight into this. So first off we're going to be doing talking about how we will be getting to each of the different planets in the game. So I feel like you'll be in a Starfighter you can explore that Starfighter or whatever ship kind of like in Fallen Order where you, where you can explore the Mantis and do all that good stuff. Maybe you can switch your character, maybe buy some characters, but then you go over to the hologram table like in Fallen Order and you can choose what planet you want to go to and it also shows how what percent of that planet you have completed, so how much of that planet you have actually completed. So it shows that 1% to 100%, kind of like in Fallen Order, or even like in LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars, how you go into the hologram table and it shows you all the different planets that you can go to. That's pretty much, I feel like, how you will start to choose what planet you want to go to. So once you, you choose your planet, then you go hyperspace to it, and maybe while you're going to that planet, you get interrupted by a Star Destroyer or a different capital ship, and you get attacked by one. So maybe you can attack that ship after they attack you, maybe destroy some outside components, or maybe even board their ship, and maybe get some sort of reward for destroying the capital ship. I'm not sure too much how that's going to work, but that might be something how it might work. You can retaliate and maybe board that enemy capital ship after it attacks you from in space whenever it does. I, I bet it would probably be random, I would imagine, and that's what it probably would be. But after you destroy that, maybe get some sort of reward, you head down to the planet, and now you can explore the planet. So once you get down to the ground on the planet, wherever you are, you land in a hangar, maybe you can customize your ship or shuttle, whatever you're flying, or maybe switch your vehicle or shuttle, whatever you are flying once again. So you can customize it or change it for however you like, and then maybe get on to the mission or whatever you want to do, maybe do some side quests, or just explore the area around you, find new locations, and explore the environment, fight different enemies, and explore different cities, and whatever plan you're on, different environments, forests, you know, bases, and all that good stuff that you would probably do in an open world game. And I'm hoping like, maybe like the missions will also be sort of like open worldish as well, so you can kind of go at it at your own pace. But after you've like done that, trying to get that 100% completion rate, you can head back to your shuttle, and you've done all the missions and all that, after you've done all that, head back to your shuttle, ship, starfighter, whatever it is, and get it out of that planet and then choose the next planet to go to, try to get that 100% completion rate. But the thing I like about this is that we have three eras in the game. You have the Clone Wars era, Galactic Civil War, and the sequel era, of course. So let's say, for instance, I go to Tatooine in the Clone Wars era, right? So I explore that, get 100% on that, but then I also go back to Tatooine in the Galactic Civil War era. The environments and locations will be different, so there will be different enemies probably, different things to combat, different things to explore, so if I explore Tatooine in the Clone Wars era, it should be different when I explore Tatooine in the Galactic Civil War area. So this should be really good, Get a lot, give us a lot of variety to do in this game. It's going to take a long time to actually 100% with, go, with you being able to go back to multiple planets in the different eras and with the locations being pretty much different, the environments being different since there are different scenes set in those different eras in the movies. So let me know what you guys think about this open world stuff. Are you excited for the open world? Excited to play this game? Let me know what you guys think the open world should be like. This is kind of just like a little quick thing speculating on how I think the open world may be like. I'm just trying to be a bit realistic here and not going crazy or anything like that, which is like completely out, not realistic at all. But let me know what you guys think about this open world. Are you guys excited for the game? Let me know what you guys think the open world should be like. Anyways guys, hope you have all enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.